So here we are with a, another video on the ETA 2824 movement and uh, this video is going to address a, a common problem uh, that we seem to have when you remove the winder from the watch. Sometimes the the crown gets stuck in the calendar setting position and this is because the yoke can easily slip over the sliding pinion uh, when you remove the crown and you try to press it back in if you're not careful you'll push the sliding pinion out of position and the yoke will slip under it and that will stop you from being able to pull the winder back out into the hand setting position again and so one way to do this would be to remove the dial and the hands and to remove the keyless work and then reset everything again uh, but you still run that risk of um, of the yoke uh, slipping over the sliding pinion uh, once again. And here we are, we've got it uh, stuck. We can't pull it out to the hand setting position. And so I'm going to show you my method on how to resolve this problem. So first of all, I'm going to remove the uh, the oscillating weight. And I'm going to remove the automatic bridge. And now to remove the ratchet wheel. And please bear in mind that I've already removed the power from this mainspring. And now I'm going to remove the barrel bridge. And so with the barrel bridge off, uh, you can see that sliding pinion's out of position. And if you look carefully, you can see the yoke is stuck between the sliding pinion and the, and the winding pinion. So let's remove that lever stop. And this uh, should be movable now, which it's not. And here's a, a close-up view, and I hope uh, possibly you can observe the the yoke underneath the square part of the stem. So if we can remove the stem now. I'm going to take out the sliding pinion and so here's the yoke and we need to reposition that into the groove of the sliding pinion. To give myself more space uh, I've removed the winding pinion as you can see I've, I've placed the the sliding pinion the groove over the yoke and so now I need to hold that back I'm going to use a, a fine needle uh, tweezers, um, like a size three tweezers, and I'm going to pull the um, the sliding pinion back, uh, taking special care to make sure that it's still uh, the groove of the sliding pinion is still in, uh, you know, caught onto the, the onto the yoke. And now I can put the winding pinion back into position. And of course, whilst I'm still holding the sliding pinion, uh, I can now put the stem back into the watch and lock it into place. This can be a little fiddly. And now that that's in place I can now reassemble the watch and incidentally one way to uh, reduce the risk of this happening it, when you remove the winding stem from the movement it's advisable to uh, bring the stem out first 
into the hand setting position uh, before releasing the bolt in order to remove the, the stem. And with the oscillating weight back on the watch, uh, this is now complete. So let's give that a test. And we're back in business. So thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time.